In terms of the platelet transfusion, thrombocytopenia is a common problem and it is reported in 18 to 35 percent of infants in the NICU. Uh, we have been liberal with the platelet transfusion, but we have the recent uh, planet uh, that multicenter trial. They had 660 babies with mean gestation of 26 weeks. They were stable premature babies with no fetal bleeding or major bleeding in the previous 72 hours. So they received either a higher transfusion, which was still less than 50 or a um, more restrictive transfusion. And uh, they showed surprisingly that the babies who received the restricted transfusion did better. There was a higher mortality in the babies who received um, non-restrictive platelet threshold. <coughs> so the recommendation in stable preterm babies without fetal intracranial bleed or major active bleed, the threshold of less than 25 should be used. And for more mature, uh, premature and term stable babies, a cutoff less than 20 should be used. And obviously, if after repeated transfusions, two or three transfusions, the level stays stable and the baby is not bleeding, you can lower this even further. That's my personal opinion. For the infant scheduled to undergo an invasive procedure who are actively bleeding or have experienced major bleeding in the past 72 hours, the threshold between 50 and 100 may be acceptable. But this is a rare scenario. Uh, it's only limited.